Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this on Facebook and asked how to do this like 3D, 3D. There's several ways to do it. I mean, one of one somebody's already suggested uh, just make a duplicate and offset it and then draw lines between them. And that's okay and well. But what you really need to do is, I mean, to me, the easier way is to take and convert this object to a curve. And then you would think the extrude tool would work, but I don't really like the way it does it. So if you go to your shadow and drop shadow and then just move that just a little bit, and then you have to, I always check off of it, check it again or select it again, break the block shadow apart, left click, right click, and you get those lines. Now, and this is more like the picture because there's no lines there. So what you can do, and I like using the Smart Fill tool, is go ahead and, well, let's just get a sample of that black. There we go. And Smart Fill that and then move it out of the way. And then I would pick my line thickness and we'll have to go to object and make sure it's not anything grouped together because some of it, there we go, there's the hairline. So we're gonna see what size line this is. It's 0.75. So I'm gonna grab my, this doesn't really matter because you're gonna cover it up with the black anyway, but we're gonna change it to 0.75. Now there's a few lines you still have to draw. And if you have your line thickness set, 1.75, which I just changed mine, and just kind of go from that node to that node, that node to that node. A lot of these are not connected because they're not supposed to be. And like there's just a few here and there. And the extrude tool would do this, but it really extrudes it too far. And then you could turn this all gray and then bring your black on top of it. And there you have it. Now, just like in the picture, they don't have this area. I would normally try to match this up and put a line there. And I'm a little bit, a little bit deeper than theirs. Now there is a black line all the way around everything. So we can go here, go to the boundary tool, make a boundary and nudge it out of the way. And we can make this boundary whatever size thickness we want and then nudge it back. Of course, that kind of inter inter interferes. There's actually a white background on this side that really shouldn't be because it's the fact that it's moving that way. But we could do that. We could, let's just do that. Let's uh, take that boundary and let's make it back to a hairline or something. Well, let's make it Let's make it a hairline for a second. Then go up to the effects and contour. And let's contour to the outside point one. That's too much. Point zero five. And then let's actually do it in two steps. Let's see what this looks like. Up your step to two. Now you have two sets of contours. So we need to go to object, break the contour part, and we want this outer contour in black. So we're gonna grab this, make the outline black and move it over, and then take a white and do the center one in white. That way that, um, Let's just move this stuff out of the way. That's more or less what their H looks like. I don't really particularly like it, but that's the way it kind of is in the picture. And you could, you know, because they've got a white background, like the 3D is going back there and it's really not going back there. So that's more of it. And that'll be fine. It all depends if they're printing on a t-shirt or whatever. I'm actually probably too much of a, a contour. I would contour some less 
And then I'm going to, yeah, there we go. Let's put it on a t-shirt, see what it looks like. I'm going to object, order, back a page. <clears throat> it does make it pop out. Of, I've got a little leak right there. There's uh, something going on. The way you can figure that out, let's get rid of all this stuff. And let's take our smart field and move it out of the way. You know what happened a while ago when I, that's, I know exactly what happened. When I contoured it, I wasn't completely off the sheet. So let's do that again. Let's hit the boundary tool, move it over. I was inside something. Let's do two steps. And you know what? Let's make them less now that we're going to do it. Let's go 0 0.03. Break the contour apart. You don't really have to because you're going to smart pill them, but unless I'm not going to get them close. I'm going to keep them separated. So we're going to take the smart fill and let's go ahead and fill it in since we got white on that one and then take black and fill black in that one. And then we'll nudge it over and then nudge over the white. Actually didn't get the white. The white contour must be in there. There we go. And there's a lot you can do with this to make it different. Like I don't, I don't really like this thickness of line on this part. And you really have to probably, let's get rid of this. I hope this isn't too confusing. Let's nudge some stuff out of the way twice. We've got like a hairline. So let's make sure it's all the same thickness. Then nudge everything back. Well, also, we need to take away the outline and just have the fill there. But on this one, we need the outline. Well, when I did that, I lost part of my... No, I didn't. I, I keep thinking this line's gone, but it's not. That didn't look that bad. I maybe would have gone not as far, you know, to one side than the other. So there's not quite enough. Um, anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.